Glad I met you, Mr. Aaron. <laughs> I know, me too, Parker. I'm glad I didn't have to backpack alone. Yeah. Sucks that it has to end so soon. I know. I wish you didn't have to go back tomorrow. Mm. Well, let's not talk about that. Instead, let's enjoy tonight. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. Morning. Good afternoon. Sit down. What? Look, I don't know what the fuck happened between you and that guy from your trip, but this shit needs to stop. Either you call him or find another way to move on. I'm not calling him. He ghosted me. I haven't heard from him in three months. Okay, and I don't like all these random guys coming in and out of our house. Well, you know what they say. If you want to get over someone, you got to get under someone else. So, what's going on with you and Blake? Cat. Mm hmm? Oh, shit. Sorry, Paige. I zoned out. You know, another year of us here while everyone else goes home for the summer. Well, just like every other year, we're going to just have to make the most of it. So, you and Blake? There is no me and Blake. I'm over him. Sure you are. <laughs> You're the one to talk. Liam disappeared in the middle of the night, and you still haven't gone over him. It's only been a year. Yeah, well, we can both use the summer to start fresh. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but can you tell me where the Shangri-La house is? Yeah, it's... We'll show you. Thank you. Of course. Us four seasoners have to stick together. Cat, that name is not going to stick. Yes, it will. I'm Cat, and this is my sister Paige. I'm Aiden. It's nice to meet you both. 
You too. So, what's a guy got to do to join the pack? We're at full capacity, so. Don't listen to her. Come on, we'll show you where your place is and then we can show you around. You're welcome. For what? You'll see. <laughs> You're discreet, right? Who am I gonna tell? I'm gonna miss you so much, Blake. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too, Roxy. Like, you and Jess are only off for a couple of weeks. Man, we're gonna have so much fun. Time's just gonna fly by. I know. I, I promise to say some fun for when you get back. <laughs> you better. <sighs> At least I'm not gonna have to be here when you tell Kat. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> oh my god! You two are too cute! We have to think of a couple name for you guys. Like how Brendan and Rachel on Big Brother are Brenchel. <laughs> Blake and Roxy. Roxy, ah, I totally ship it. No, you're gonna have to wait until after I talk to Kat. Right, because that would be like super awkward. Like Angelina and Jennifer awkward. Speaking of awkward situations. Right. Well, I will let you two get back to whatever it was I was interrupting. Go finish packing. I'll see you later. Thank you for showing me around. I really appreciate it. No problem. So like, why did you and your brother move here anyway? My brother got a scholarship for the music theater program. That's awesome. So he'll be with me. Yeah. Is he single? <laughs> he is, but you're not exactly his type, if you know what I mean. Uh, noted. Where are you guys originally from though? Toronto. What about mm -hmm. you? We're from Pontypool. I've never heard of it. <laughs> Most people have it. So, are we the only black people that live here? Uh, kind of. There's this other guy, his name is Ty, but he pretends he's in black though. Why? He's originally from here. I guess like growing up for him was kind of hard, so he does things to go out of his way to fit in. That sucks. Yeah, it is what it is though. Small towns, small minds. He does what he can to make it easier for himself. Yeah, I don't even think he'd know what to do if he got pulled over by a cop. <laughs> wow. My parents taught us as soon as we were able to leave the house. What about the locals, though? You'll think we'll have any trouble? Like I said before, try your best to fit in, especially your brother. We're all cool, but there are still some very old-fashioned people living around here. Thanks for the heads up. Come in. Hey, what's up, big bro? Hey, how's it going? Good, I'm good. You? Good, where have you been all day? I met these two sisters and they showed me around. Oh, nice. So we have to According to our roommates, we the Shangri-La house throw this huge end of the year party. Perfect. Then you can introduce me to your new friends. For sure. Man, these people are so cool. Nobody even cared that you're gay. You told people? Yeah, what's the big deal? It came out so long ago. Yeah, and look how well that turned out. Yo, what's the matter? Were you not gonna tell anyone? You don't get it, do you? We're in a small town. 
We don't know these people. Yeah, they might seem nice, but you never know how someone's going to react to something like that. <laughs> you can go anywhere in the world and hold the person you love's hand. <laughs> and no one would even look twice. But if I do that, I'm risking my life. You've never had to feel shame for who you are, but I have. And sometimes I still do. You know, whenever I meet someone for the first time, and they ask me if I have a girlfriend. I pause. And you want to know why? Why? Because my answer controls what happens next. Sure, I could just lie and say no. Or I could tell the truth say, I don't like girls. But if I lie, then I'm hiding. And I'm part of the problem. And you think that being black in a small town with predominantly white people is going to be easy for me? At least you can hide the fact that you're gay. I can't hide the fact that I'm black. I'll try being black and gay. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to say that you have it easier than me. Quite frankly, it's gonna be hard for the both of us. I shouldn't have told people that you were gay. I just thought that since you came out, that it was okay. <laughs> but if they have a problem with it, then fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, kind of made it easier on me now, because now I don't really have to tell people they'll already know. Exactly! Yeah, that's why you did it. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> hey, hey, man, how hey, you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Good. Aaron, this is Parker. He was the one that was telling me about the party. Glad I met you, Mr. Aaron. I know, me too, Parker. I love you. I love you too. Hi. I'm Aaron, nice to meet you. Hi, yeah, uh, Parker, good to meet you too. Uh, look, I was, um, I was running out to grab some stuff for the party tonight. Do you want me to grab you guys anything, too? Nah, we're good, man. Thanks. Oh, yeah, no worries. See ya. <laughs> uh, cool guy, I think I'm gonna take a nap before the party. Okay. So, yeah. I'll see you later, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> I know what you're doing, by the way, and you need to stop. Come on, Paige. You have to get over Liam. It's been a year. We didn't even break up. Really? I think him disappearing in the middle of the night after two dead bodies were found constitutes as a breakup. Yeah, but we don't even know he had anything to even do with that. Look, we don't know that he didn't. I don't know, Paige. I think it's time for you to move on. You're right. Liam's gone. And he's not coming back. 